Hello everyone, Intuitive Healing Quantum Healing. Yes, I came alive because I would like to talk a little bit more around the manifestation. Yes, exactly, around the manifestation. So today there will be a little bit, will be a little longer video. So stay tuned at the end and you can unravel. You can unravel, not me. I'm just you will be giving the guidance. You can unravel inside you what is really holding you back from getting what you want in your life. And also it's not a such thing as we want something in our life. But anyway, stay tuned. By the way, thank you for coming here and thank you for leaving any comments. Before you're going to leave, I'm going to say thank you like advanced so if you're watching me now perfect amazing if you're going to watch me later on that's amazing too so if any kind of the message will be today resonates with you take it if not just only leave it because believe me or not our subconscious mind waiting for that knowledge waiting for that information so if you're really really seeking if you're really really uh I would like to say starving. If you're really hungry about this information, definitely you're going to receive that message. So know where about and just only relax, stay tuned and just only listen my words, okay? Just listen my words and you can see, you can see at the end. So let's go talk about what is really holding you back from manifestation. What is really hold us back from the manifestation? What is really hold our collective? consciousness from the manifestation the beautiful beautiful world okay so definitely i would like to articulate what is the manifestation manifestation for me from my perspective is something i really really seeking in my life i really knew is something supposed to happen is something supposed to come also my intuition is guiding me through that so that's the manifestation so manifestation is your energy, your thoughts, that kind of the form, um, you can manipulate in a good positive way and you can see in the physical world in front of you, okay? For example, I manifest my beautiful, beautiful necklace. I really want it. I really want it. I knew it. I'm going to get it, that one. But I had in my head before I, that appeared in front of me, okay? That was my Christmas time. Anyway, so that's kind of the manifestation, okay? You can manifest coffee in the morning. You can manifest tea in the morning. You can manifest lots of different stuff in, in your life, okay? But it's what is really holding us back. Let's go pinpoint. Let's go go straight away to dive in because I know you are just only starving for that stuff. So definitely the manifestation is something really, really... I'm not going to say difficult, it's easy, but how, uh, as long as you're going to learn that technique, as long as you're going to learn how you can um, create, how you can navigate in this world with that energy, how you can cope that energy, how you can uh, manage that energy, how you can... Um, a really good way manipulate that energy okay i'm not going to say manipulate for the wrong stuff but for the definitely for the good stuff because remember you came here on the planet earth to learn how you need to manipulate energy that dolores cannon said in her one of the books so that's kind of the things you came here to do that that's your major lesson because the all the emotions is energy so we need to learn how we need to cope how we need to navigate that emotion inside us we're going to be a master, 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 master above, above that stuff, okay? So as long as you're going to learn, you're going easily and quickly manifest something in your life. But definitely also you can manifest easily and quickly in the five dimension, which are we are heading. Our ascension process is heading. But before that, before we're getting in that fifth dimension, before the Tara, the planet Earth, um, we're going to step in. We need to slowly, step by step, manifest, start manifesting the simple stuff in our life, okay? So what's holding you back? Can you answer this question today? I've been answering a lot of times, so multiple times I've been asking myself, why I, manifest, why I don't manifest it yet in my life? Why I don't manifest this in my life yet? So I've been constantly asking myself, and believe me or not, take it or leave it, okay? That came to me. It's very simple word come to me yes that's blocking me that word which i'm just only constantly repeating as a kind of the pattern in my life that's holding me back from the beautiful highest potential which i would like to see in my life 
but the constantly, can you see, constantly when you're repeating um, your pattern, I would like to the pattern arising inside you and you can uh, observe as a word, okay? So you can say, I'm not good enough. I'm, I don't have this, I don't have that. I'm always uh, so lonely. I'm not lovable. I don't have enough money. I, I couldn't afford it. I couldn't go there. I can't. And that kind of the things holding you definitely back. But I can give you the solution, okay? When you go dive in, when you go dive in deeply inside you, you can unravel beauty. You can unravel beauty. You've got that Bible inside you anyway, straight away. But you need to just only dust it and just only open it on the right page, okay? Believe me or not. So let's go cross it out, that words. Or another way, let's go reframe that words, okay? If you... If you are, for example, you, you can say, I couldn't afford this in my life. Okay, that could be true because now the economic on the planet that is really crazy, isn't it? But you don't have to say that stuff, I couldn't afford it. You can say different way. Okay, so my finances or financial um, system in my family is a little bit changing at the moment but anyway i'm going to do that in the next couple of the weeks or next couple of the months okay so you couldn't say you're going to cross it out that word i couldn't afford it okay because that's going lowering you down and that gives you a lot of a lot of um low vibration in your system and that's going to anchor anchoring much more deeper inside you and you will be repeating that all the time but as long you're going to remind yourself and reframe that word for yourself the game is begun i mean the beautiful beautiful game and the life will change completely for you i've done it, that stuff so every time when i'm just only saying something something and not really, really good high vibration on the on really good high vibration level. I'm just only reminding myself, like, no, don't say like that. Just only change the word because remember the word has a power. So the word got a lot of energy. That's the letters, and every letter got a frequency, and every frequency, I mean the one letter, got a different meaning. Okay, so you can be. My goodness, wizard, you can be a witch or the wise woman, wise man, okay? Because we are all all that aspects. If you would like to call the God, yes, it's God. If you would like to call the universe, it's universe, okay? I'm not promoting here any religion. The only love and peace for me, okay? I don't care who, what kind of the part of um, what you come from or what kind of the religion. I don't care about it. But I'm just only caring about you, about you really who you are and where are you going where are you heading and what kind of the perspective are you holding is it harming you or is harming others as well because remember when you're harming yourself you're harming others as well so probably you don't want to harm anyone and you don't want to harm yourself okay but what is holding you really back that i said the words you are saying constantly to yourself and repeating but sometimes we're really uh, unconscious about that we, we really are conscious about that so sometimes when you go to ask somebody who is close to you maybe your husband maybe your spouse maybe your friends ask them pay attention what i'm saying all day long okay and they, they will be just able to pinpoint what kind of the words are you repeating constantly this is the first step just please try it for seven days why not and see how is the life changed uh, is going to change for you another thing what is really holding our back we're not allowing we're not allowing the new come in because really we are really really attached we are really attached to the old version of ourselves let it go I know you can say, oh, that's easy to say. Yes, easy to say and easy to do. But as long as you don't know you're attached to something, it's really difficult to say, do that. I can share with you my experience a few days ago. Uh, I was thinking uh, I, I'm not attached. I was thinking I'm not attached. And then suddenly um, I just only said, yes, I've been attached. I didn't let it go my old version, my old pattern, and allow the new come. I can tell you that uh, story. So that was my uh, husband. He would like to invite me for the dinner. But I was constantly saying, 
no, 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 because I've got something to do. I've got something to do. I've got something to do. That was constantly, I was thinking that was really good. I was fantastic. So I came over that stuff, but I was unconscious. And until there was something click inside me after that event, after that um, saying uh, to him, no. Then I just only, I found in the peace and the calm place. And then that message came to me. You have to let it go. Because that universe called me. Because when he invited me for the dinner, I supposed to say, yes, let's go. Because I've been waiting for that. I've been waiting for that. But can you see? Subconsciously. Really, subconsciously. Because remember, 98% is our subconscious working. Whatever you do, you are programmed. 3% is your conscious. So remember this. Subconsciously, I was said no. But the consciously, I supposed to say yes. And then after a few days... I just only came up with that conclusion. That message arrived to me and said, oh my goodness, you've been attached. You're supposed to let it go. You're supposed to do opposite way. And then you can allow that the beauty, you can allow uh, that gift, which one universe would like to give you. He said, okay, yeah, can you see? So pay attention because universe is constantly giving you, but you are the person, you are the human, you are the light being. Maybe not light being, but definitely in the human form, we are just only completely, completely programmed. You are stopping yourself. You are stopping yourself. You are preventing to good come to you. That's definitely happened for me. But now it's not going to happen anymore because consciously I just only grasp that stuff and anchor that stuff inside me and now I'm just only free. I set myself free from that attachment. And believe it or not, that's a tiny small stuff is holding our back. Because sometimes the people think something big is holding me back or I need to do this, I need to do this or maybe kind of the addiction, of course, kind of the trauma, of course. But remember that tiny small stuff, tiny small stuff, is that something really hold our, uh, us back from the good? Because remember, step by step, step by step, small baby step, just giving you the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful experience. And you can rise up your vibration much more quicker and you can get or get, you can gain more knowledge, more information, and then you can manifest much more easily and quickly because you will be having lots of tools uh, inside your pocket or something like that. How you, and then you will know how you can um, navigate this world and how you can work with that energy because everything.